About 7 million years ago, humans appeared. The Long Stone Age ended about 4,000 years ago when people discovered steel. Ever since, human life has been enhanced and enriched by steel. Steel is a relatively abundant, affordable, and easy to process resource. Steel is now used everywhere in our lives. Steel production generates very little CO2, and steel can be recycled into various kinds of steel products again and again, making it a very convenient material. Steel is a very eco-friendly material from a life cycle assessment perspective, or in terms of total environmental impact of a product, from its manufacture to end of life. The world is now facing global warming and climate change, which resulted from our lives becoming more convenient and prosperous. To help us shift towards realizing a sustainable society, efforts on a global scale to achieve the SDGs have been begun. Nippon Steel has endeavored for many years to reduce its CO2 emissions through environmentally friendly manufacturing and energy conservation. Still, CO2 is inevitably generated in steelmaking. So, we have set a goal of harnessing the power of hydrogen in steelmaking toward a target in 2030 and further ahead to 2050. Let's take a look at how steel is made today. The basic mechanism is to use carbon to remove oxygen from iron ore to make it into steel. Iron ore and coal are infused to a blast furnace and heated, and the coal is used as the source of carbon to remove oxygen from iron ore. The coal also raises the furnace temperature and creates a path for hot gases, thus forming an environment conductive to steelmaking. This method easily removes impurities contained in iron ore and can make a lot of steel. The gases emitted are 100% effectively used for activities such as power generation. However, CO2 is still generated. So, we have decided to take up the challenge of dramatically transforming the steelmaking method that has been used for thousands of years. The challenge is threefold. Challenge one is to develop blast furnace hydrogen reduction technology. This means using a conventional blast furnace and replacing some of the coal with hydrogen. Use of hydrogen in the removal of oxygen from iron ore generates H2O, or water. CO2 emissions can be reduced based on the amount of hydrogen used. But this method also has a problem. It causes loss of heat inside the furnace, so the hydrogen must be heated to a high temperature. Challenge 2 is to make steel by way of direct reduction with 100% hydrogen. This is an ultimately clean method using only hydrogen in the removal of oxygen from iron ore without using a conventional blast furnace. The oxygen in the iron ore binds with the hydrogen to produce only water and zero CO2. However, this method also causes loss of heat inside the furnace, so the hydrogen must be kept at a high temperature. In addition, this method produces pellets of iron that need to be further processed to remove impurities and modify the composition. The last one, challenge three, is to use a large-scale electric arc furnace to produce high-grade steel. This is a method for refining steel scrap and 100% hydrogen direct reduced steel in an electric furnace. Use of scrap or reduced iron from which oxygen has already been removed results in less CO2 emissions. There are two issues with this method. First, impurities have to be completely removed from the steel scrap in order to produce high-grade steel. Second, a larger electric furnace is required for efficient steelmaking. 
we are striving to overcome the challenges in realizing these three innovative technologies. We will reduce CO2 emissions by combining these three technologies. The remaining CO2 emissions will be treated by the CCUS process. This is to separate and store it underground or reuse it for chemicals and fuels. By combining various technologies, we are determined to fundamentally transform the way of steel making that has been used for thousands of years. The goal is to reduce our CO2 emissions to virtually zero by 2050. To achieve this, we also need a tremendous amount of carbon-free hydrogen and carbon-free electricity, which is another big challenge in today's society. We cannot achieve carbon neutrality on our own. It takes considerable time and money, but this is an unavoidable challenge for the sake of the planet. Let's make the planet a better place to live, not only for us humans, but for all living things. Steel and hydrogen will change our planet and our future. Green Transformation Initiative Nippon Steel